Now, moving on to a late breaking development as we're recording this, but the Warner Media um, Discovery merger is actually expected to be finished rather soon, with earliest projections being done by this Friday, which I'm going, holy crap, do you did that fast? Which, obviously, when new leadership is put into place, the old leadership might not have the same position, and that's obviously what's happening here, as Jason Kalar and Anne Sarnoff both will be exiting, so this kind of came a few hours apart, like Jason Kalar announced his resignation earlier in the day. I think Kalar announces leaving, and Sarnoff, on the other hand, was told that she her position was no longer necessary and that she'd be <laughs> let go. So, hmm. Lot to break down here. I know yeah. a lot of, I know a lot of Snyder fans that are real happy right now because they pointed the finger at Ann Sarnoff for not quote unquote, restoring the Snyder verse. Guys, I don't think that's happening anymore for a multitude of reasons. Yeah. I think Snyder got burned by the studio that he's working with. I don't always like his movies, but he did get treated badly by Warner Brothers. Um, and they did more or less make it good with um, the Snyder Cut, but that did lose the HBO Max quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. he, he is, in relationship terms, he is in a very happy, committed relationship with Netflix now. He seems yeah. to be doing just fine. He's happy with Army of the Dead. He's got his like Star Wars ripoff that he's working on soon. He's got an Army of the Dead prequel that he just did. He seems to be living his best life over there. I don't think he's interested anymore about continuing the Snyderverse. Um, I think that part of him will always be with him, but I don't think he's interested in continuing that anymore now that he's got this opportunity to tell completely new stories with characters that he himself makes up. Yeah. Um, also, you gotta think that the people that are leaving Warner Media were also the ones that approved the Snyder Cut to begin with to show up yeah. on the platform, so they were still involved to a certain extent. I don't care about Ann Sarnoff leaving nearly as much as a whole bunch of other people, mainly the Snyder Cut fans. I care more about Jason Clark leaving. Both of these departures were nothing new. It was speculated a long time ago that when Discovery acquired Warner Brothers or was in the early stages of it, that people were like, so where does this leave Jason Clark? Because David Zasloff, who currently runs Discovery, does pretty good. And more people, it's it's that like, all right, guys, it's him or me. And everyone points to Zasloff and goes, We'd rather have him, the guy that's making the purchases, we'd rather have him than the one that's being bought. And Jason Klar, God, for a long time now, I have been counting down the days till he leaves, because how do you botch HBO Max and Warner Media so badly? Like, I don't mind HBO Max as an app. I think it's good. Yeah. Is it as good as it should be? Oh, no. heck no, not even oh, close. No server issues not having the proper formats of hey we've got 4k content guys you have like seven movies on 4k that's about it your stream quality frankly sucks like even your hd stuff i'm like jesus what is the bit rate like 10 or 12 like it's <laughs> terrible but the single biggest boneheaded decision that had huge ramifications was that decision in 2021 of hey all of our movies will have day and date release like, I get what he's going for. HBO Max was way behind in the numbers subscription-wise. That's not how you do it. You burned a whole bunch of your bridges. You basically... Um, I forget where, where Nolan ended up, but you basically lost Christopher Nolan as a director forever. You almost lost Denny Villeneuve forever. Uh, you had a whole bunch of your talent that you didn't notify ahead of time that was doing this. And in the end, it didn't actually end up helping HBO Max any. It's growth, yeah, the platform grew a little bit, but that was its natural projections anyway. It didn't, like, skyrocket to the level that he was projecting it would. If anything, it did more harm than good. I, these were not surprising departures at all. Because, again, when a new company takes over an old one, mm -hmm. the one acquiring it will typically keep their people in charge. If anything, this should be good news because... From everything we've heard, David Zaslav is very much a hands-off type of guy. So I'm hoping... Well, we can talk about it a little bit here, Josh. I'm hoping that this kind of... We don't care about any other Warner Brothers stuff besides DC. Let's be honest here on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I am hoping 
that the reason all the stuff got delayed a few weeks ago is so that David Zaslav can go, all right, everybody cut on the brakes, chill the F out. Somebody tell me what we're doing. Nobody can tell me what we're doing. Then that means you guys don't know what you're doing. And if we don't know what we're doing, we need a plan to figure out what we're actually going to do. So that's the big issue that Warner Bros. has had is they've never had a plan. And I know some people are like, well, they can keep doing standalone movies. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But decide if they're standalone movies or if they're connected or not. Um, yeah. We can dive into that more in a little bit here, Josh. But you see Jason Kalar and Ann Sarnoff, two of the big heads currently of Warner Media, have left or have been fired. We'll put it that way. Was this shocking to you? Or where do you see the current direction of this Warner Media Discovery merger? I, it was shocking to me because I, I think you definitely follow it a lot closer than I do. And I'm not as privy to uh, transitions of power when it comes to. Oh, no, I just, I just daily search headlines of Jason Kalar fired <laughs> right after I checked it's, Bob Chapek fired. <laughs> You have a you have a a, 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 an ex, a Chrome extension attached to your browser that ha- constantly searches the internet. Bob Chapek uh, fired. <laughs> Nightwing movie just, news. Henry Cavill back as Superman. You open a new tab, it pops up. Sorry, no news. Sorry, no news. And then this came up, and you're like, oh, there's 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 news. The chlorinating. Um, <laughs> I yeah, dude. It's it, it, it was surprising to me because I'm not used. I'm not very privy to the kind of like how the transition of power normally happens. Um, but the ramifications are definitely hard to ignore, um, especially if they end up... <laughs> a lot of people will see the move of them delaying all the DC stuff as, oh, wow, they still don't know what they're doing. And guess what? They probably still don't. Um, but at least at this way, you and I especially, we're pretty vocal on, we take this as... A sign that the merger is taking the DC's properties seriously and is like, yeah, okay, so if if this is what the, or if these are the stories we're telling, where are we going with them? What are we doing? What's the end goal here? We're not just going to be throwing money at you guys. That That's not how this is going to work. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the long run, when it, at least when it comes to DC. But I think like like dune is under that banner um there's there's quite a big uh, quite a bit uh of large pro- properties that have come out in the last couple of years that th- discovery is gonna have to make some decisions on i mean i know they they already greenlit dune for a second movie but i'm pretty sure it was supposed, it's supposed to be all the way to three and four but i'm not i'm don't quote me on that because i cancel that. fantastic beasts Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? It, at this point, you have to because there's nothing you can do about it. If they've gone too far down the rabbit hole, it, there's no well, way that you're going to write yourself out of that corner well, because also, they've written themselves in that that corner. So without delving too, too much into spoilers for those people that do care about Fantastic Beasts because of Double Door, from everything I've read, Credence Ezra Miller's character is a very big part of the story. To which I'm going, if you're going to keep this franchise, you can't. You just can't keep Ezra Miller anymore. We'll talk on it briefly mm-hmm. here for a bit because I think it's important going forward. Whatever David Zasloff is doing with Warner Discovery, I think one of his first pieces of action is what are you going to do with Ezra Miller? Because yeah. honestly, it's gotten out of control. There should have been disciplinary actions the first time there was issues back in the beginning of quarantine in 2020 mm-hmm. when he choke slammed somebody. But now it's escalated to a very dangerous level to the point of Warner Bros. has a habit of ignoring or being very selective of who they fire and who they keep. But this is not a situation like that. You, It's going to do more damage for your brand if you keep him in the long term. Now, at the time of recording this, we have Jason Clark and Ann Sarnoff leaving. If those two are leaving, I would not be surprised if Toby Emmerich, the head of the another one of those big pillars of Warner Media, mm-hmm. currently, if he's also on his way out. And Toby Emmerich and Ann Sarnoff typically get lumped together in the in the Snyder movement stuff of get rid of Sn- Sarnoff, get rid of Emmerich. I would not be surprised just because he's he's the old regime but then again maybe toby's got a relationship with zaslav pre-existing like david zaslav had a relationship with the head over at cnn before all that stuff went down Mm -hmm. um which on top of that i know comic book fans don't care about this but i'm and i don't particularly care about it but i'm curious of 
they just launched CNN Plus. That falls under the same banner of at and and like Warner. So you just launched that app. Is that going to get bundled in with this Discovery, HBO Max, yeah. Mega app? Like, are we going <laughs> to have a DC universe? Yeah. Are we going to have a DC universe situation here? Lastly, before yeah. we move on to our next topic, I'm going to do my way too early predictions here. Okay, okay, hit me with it. David Zaslav is a relational guy. He He's yeah. a lot like Bob Iger of he likes to put talent first. My way too early prediction. In 2023, some bridges are going to be repaired. And Henry Cavill will be announced to be returning. <laughs> If, I unlike yeah. other unlike other just blind hopes, I think this is a situation of the changing of the guard may signal stuff. I think yeah. Zaslav will probably be aware of fans' desire. And also, I go back to evidence as the jury will see <laughs> exhibit A <laughs> in in David Zaslav's first interview after Discovery was announced to be merging with Warner or acquiring Warner. He said, they've got this great vast catalog of IP with characters such as Superman. The first name he said was Superman. Zazzle is a Superman fan confirmed. Henry Cavill returned confirmed. It's going to happen in 2023. He's going to be announced to come back. Obviously, we're not going to get a movie in 2023 because that's not how <laughs> movies work. But It's not? I'm also, <laughs> I'm also still not convinced that he doesn't show up in The Flash at some point. Now, I've heard some... I agree bonkers rumors out there that i gotta hope are not true from some of the stuff that i've heard and you know it's from reddit so you know only the most reliable of sources there uh i think henry cavill will come back um okay now okay. more than ever it's just a matter of the other dc stuff i i just want a good shepherd i just want to i don't need a foggy i just need at least one person in the room to go hey we should map things out. That's not Matt Reeves, because Matt Reeves is the only one that seems to have a clue right now.